Here's some notes on uh, constructing the uh, first IF cavity filter for the Scotty Spectrum Analyzer. This is a filter which uh, passes the 1013.3 megahertz first IF and uh, attenuates the uh, image frequency at uh, 1034.7 megahertz when using the 10.7 uh, megahertz IF. This is a very critical part of his, his uh, Spectrum Analyzer design. And, uh, On his website, he uses a uh, cavity filter made using a uh, copper pipe. Um, I had difficulties uh, constructing his version, so I ended up finding a uh, 900 megahertz mobile duplexer on eBay. This is a Cellwave model 20-1224A19 900 megahertz mobile duplexer. It was originally tuned for uh, 928 and 952 megahertz. Uh, the top uh, tuning stubs and the internal stubs are all stock. I did add a new uh, brass plate. This is a standard uh, brass plate you can find at a hobby store. Um, I drilled an uh, eighth inch hole using the stock specifications in the, cav the copper pipe cavity filter. A uh, eighth inch hole all through all the um, four cavities, uh, 0 0.7 inches from the bottom. And that's to make the um, coupling loops through each of the um, uh, cavities. I used the uh, stock dimensions. These are really quite critical, yeah, 0 0.7 inches um, from the bottom, and uh, yeah, 0 0.06 inches from the wall of the cavity. He uses uh, little bits of a uh, Teflon spacer, I'll show you in a bit what you have to do to make those. Um, try to get these coupling loops all the same, it's uh, really quite critical. Um, and you want them as close to the wall as possible to uh, for the uh, maximum image rejection. Because this is the cavity is made using aluminum on the RF input and output, you have to use uh, these little panel mount SMA connectors. Try to get the uh, models that don't stick out very far. And what you're going to have to do is um, when you make the input coupling loop, actually wrap the wire around the center conductor because as you heat it up naturally it's going to trudge out unsolder so if you wrap the actual wire around it kind of crimp it and then solder it, it uh, you have a good uh, mechanical uh, connection in case it were to uh, heat up and unsolder when you try to solder these uh, other uh, uh, coupling loops to the bottom of the brass plate well make sure um, to get the four cavity model, there's multiple models. I think there was one with like a, there's like a five uh, cavity model too, but just the four cavity model should work fine. The, uh, the actual stubs um, are all internally, are all stock. I did add a, a bit of silver solder around the uh, internal stub on the bottom here because it's such a critical uh, RF port. Um, you need to remove the uh, stock coupling loops. Um, when you take it apart, the, the stock model, um, you'll see these little coupling loops that they used internally. You want to remove those and add your own, basically. I can show you a frequency sweep real quick. The insertion loss of this model was around a 4 dB. Um, this is a uh, sweep centered at uh, 1.0134 gigahertz right now.
uh, 10 megahertz per horizontal division, 10 dB per vertical division. Our uh, main image is going to be around 21.4 megahertz from the center. So it'll be around here, as you can see, uh, we're basically in the noise already. It's 5 dB per division. Oops, 5 megahertz per division, I mean. Uh, 2 megahertz per division. That's 5 dB per horizontal division. 2 dB per horizontal division. 2 megahertz per uh, horizontal division. The uh, frequency of the frequency response of the cavity is a little bit wider than uh, normal. Well, normally, you can get them much, uh, you know, narrower, but uh, it does appear to work out pretty good. It really helps to have uh, the proper test equipment to uh, align these here. I'm just tuning one of the. Uh, stubs just to show you what the frequency response, how you can alter the uh, response to you don't want any ripple in the pass band and you want uh, the maximum rejection possible in your uh, image frequency. To make those uh, coupling loops you're going to need some uh, UT141 uh, hardline or hard pipe coax. I usually find these scraps at the local ham fest, it's like a buck a piece. Uh, use your nippers to unravel the uh, outer uh, copper shell to expose the uh, internal Teflon uh, dielectric. Use a exacto knife to um, cut the di dielectric into little insulators, and that's how you want to. Uh, isolate the hairpin. This is just an example to isolate the hairpin. You can salvage the uh, wire from uh, that's the center conductor from the coax. It works out really good and doesn't melt so you don't have to worry about uh, it uh, coming undone at all. There's uh, one last look. to kind of see uh, what you're trying to aim for. This is a much easier design than trying to make one out of a, the copper pipe, I believe.